Why do magicians keep secrets? And what is it about secrets that's so important to magic? Let's find out. The first record of magic being performed dates back to 2000 BC in ancient Egypt. Documented in the West Car Papyrus, the performance was for King Khufu, who was the builder of the Great Pyramid of Giza. He did have help though, right? He did it on his own. Must have been tired. According to the ancient text, there was a wise old wizard named Didi, who was called before King Khufu, who said, it is told you can restore the head that is taken from a live creature. I can indeed, your majesty, answered Didi. The king replied, then let a prisoner be brought forth and decapitated. I would rather it were not a man, said Didi. I do not deal in such a manner. I guess he had a problem cutting people's heads off. A duck was brought forth and its head was cut off. The head was thrown to the right and the body to the left. Didi spoke magic words. Then the head and the body came together and the duck rose up and quacked loudly. The same was done with a goose. Let's stop right there for a second and ask ourselves, what effect did this story have on us? For me, it conjures up an image, a scene of ancient Egypt 4,000 years ago, a starlit night sky looking down on a wise man wearing a weathered robe. He's being escorted through spacious royal grounds by an armed palace guard. The flickering flame of torches causes the walls to come alive. The wise man is then given access to the royal court and asked to show the king of Egypt his magic of decapitating heads and putting them back together again. I have so many questions, yet the details will remain a mystery, and mystery is the key to this video. Now back to keeping secrets. There are a number of reasons we keep secrets. We might keep a secret to protect ourselves or someone else from harm, such as Meep Geese, who kept Anne Frank and her family safe during World War II. Or we might keep a secret to benefit someone else, such as a surprise birthday, or surprise, I got you Battenberg. Hmm, Battenberg. However, there is a dark side to keeping secrets. Some might keep a secret to hold power over others. These individuals hoard secrets they shouldn't know, or they even fabricate a situation just so a secret is created and now must be kept. Others might use secrets to make themselves feel important by telling people they know a secret without the intention of revealing it. This makes them feel important and is a play on status. It's like being back in the playground and hearing the words, I know something you don't know, no, 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 no. So there are different types of secrets and each has a different agenda. What it really boils down to is the intent of the individual holding the secret. Are they keeping the secret for good or for bad? The same is true in magic. There are some people who become magicians because the secrets give them power. They know something you don't know and that makes them feel important. These aren't magicians, they're called tricksters and they use magic to feed their self-esteem and stroke their own ego. A magician, on the other hand, is someone who has the ability to give an experience we can't get anywhere else. They love love sharing magic with others and feel a responsibility to protect the secrets out of respect for the art and their audiences. Interestingly, keeping secrets can weigh us down and alter our perceptions and energy level. A study by Slepian, Messicampo, Tutsi and Ambadi in 2012 found that when we carry secrets which we feel are heavy, we overestimate the effort that physical tasks will require, overestimate distances between two points, believing hills to be steeper than they actually are, and make us less likely to help someone else with a favour. However, I'm pleased to report that keeping secrets to magic doesn't have this effect. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I feel uplifted, humbled, and incredibly fortunate to be able to gift people the feeling of magic. I am well aware the act of revealing secrets of the magic would be to quite literally rob people of an experience and belittle their intelligence, stealing the magic from them. You wouldn't take a child to Lapland and on the plane back home tell them Santa isn't real and that Rudolph can't fly. They are both, of course, lies, and we shouldn't tell lies, but I hope you see my point. So when a magician keeps a secret, it is to uphold the mystery and protect the audience from belittling themselves. Magic is an experience and has the power to elicit childlike wonder. Whether that experience is being enchanted, the feeling of complete astonishment, or a kind of nostalgia being sent back in time to walk in the shoes of our six-year-old selves again. The same way comedy has the unifying power to show us how we're all alike and provides us with a safe space to explore and poke fun at ourselves. Magic too has the unifying power to remind us that no one knows everything and that not knowing things is okay. Experiencing magic puts us all on a level playing field, acting as one, experiencing the magic together and sitting in that priceless moment of mystery. Which brings us back to Egypt. Let's say Didi gets called to see the king, the duck is brought forward, its head is cut off and thrown to the right, and the body thrown to the left. He then performs an absolute miracle, restoring the head and body, bringing the duck back to life. But this time he finishes his performance by saying, want to know how it's done? It's all bits of string, magnets, and sticky tape. 
Do you think this story would be included in the West Car Papyrus? Would we still be talking about it 4,000 years later? I don't think so. Side note, Dedi is spelt D-J-E-D-I. Drop the D and you're left with Jedi, a member of the mystical knightly order from the Star Wars films. Coincidence? So next time money magically restores itself, a chosen card jumps out of a pack, or a magician vanishes, remember our reaction is a celebration that we are not alone. We don't know everything. And this moment of mystery highlights our uncertainty of the world around us. It's a part of what makes us human. So why do magicians need to keep secrets? Because magic is priceless and wouldn't exist without them. But how many types of magic are there? And how many secrets do magicians really need to keep? Find out in this video I made about the 19 mysteries of magic. Until next time, in a bit. Coincidence? No, I think not. <laughs>